All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Enter Egypt, Allah willing, you will be saved there. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. The rights of one's homeland are among the most basic and vital rights, and the participation in its construction and progress is one of the greatest and most honorable deeds. Homeland is one of the six major principles that the Islamic Sharia has fostered and protected with due means, and the noble man defends his homeland with whatever he has. A poet once said, every noble person owes his homeland great favors and rights to be fulfilled. It goes without saying that, the, that he who correctly understands his religion will realize that the relationship between a religion and state is not a relationship of hostility and it will never be so. <clears throat> The genuine understanding of religion contributes strongly to building and stabilizing a modern state based on solid patriotic foundations, just as a rational state cannot collide with human nature that searches for the right rational faith. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, has embodied the meaning of patriotism in his statement when his people forced him to leave Mecca. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, how good you are as a land, and how dear you are to my heart. Had your people not forced me out of you, I would have never come out and would have never resided in any other city but you. However, patriotism is not just words to be said or slogans to be raised. Rather, it is a conduct, sacrifices, and rights to be fulfilled. Among the loftiest and most important of these rights are sacrifices for the sake of one's homeland and protecting it from any danger that threatens it, threatens its stability or terrorizes its citizens. Protecting homeland is one of the higher purposes of religions and it's the bath of the noble and honorable people. Real patriotism means sacrifice and loving homeland respecting its flag, national anthem, and all of its capabilities and institutions. True patriotism entails the preservation of public money, which is a basic pillar for the state in order to manage its affairs, establish its institutions, provide services, improve the status of its citizens, and contribute to making them civilized. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, some people will unjustly acquire for themselves property which, be, which belongs to God, and on the day of resurrection, they will go to hell. Thus, the public money ought to be protected. True patriotism requires supporting the nation's products in the fields of industry, agriculture, trade, and marketing in a way that fosters the value of loyalty and affiliation to the homeland and achieves the economic prosperity of its people. The more we work and strive perfectly for our nation, the more we leverage our country's economic capabilities. And the more we buy and sell the country's products, the more we give producers and manufacturers the opportunity to raise competitiveness edge and contribute to providing more job opportunities for our young people. Patriotism also requires respecting the public order and adhering to laws. Every group that lives in one society must have some fair systems and rules that control individuals' behaviors, preserve people's rights, and oblige them to perform their duties. Without the order, people will not attain their rights and justice will not be achieved. Adherence to the laws is a religious and civilized behavior and an indispensable pillar for preserving the state's entity, security, stability, and development. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his companions and followers. True patriotism requires sincere participation in building the nation, which is to be done through the perfect work, 
and the high quality of production. This leads to the progress and prosperity of the nation. Our true religion does not require people to simply work, but rather to perfect their work. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Allah loves someone who, when he works, he performs it in a perfect manner. It is also said, if you want to know one's loyalty, nobility, and his good manners, then watch how much he is loyal to his homeland, how much he is affiliated to it, how much he yearns for it, and how much he works for its sake. How much we need the collective work of the whole society for building our homeland. The homeland is for all its sons and it cannot advance ex except with their hard work and striving, each one in his field and specialization. Soldiers and policemen in the preservation of the homeland's security and safety, doctors in the hospitals, farmers in their fields, workers in their factories, and students through their diligence in acquiring knowledge. The Almighty Allah says, Help one another to do what's right and good. Do not help one another towards sin and hostility. O oh Allah, protect our country, Egypt, and all world's countries.